Today, kindergartners, we are going to continue talking about where we live. Remember, we learned that we live on a continent. This is a picture of the Earth from outer space, and our continent is right up here. And our continent is North America. On every continent, there are countries. Countries are smaller than continents. Our country is right here. This is the United States. States. We have a state. We have states in the United States. And our state is California. California is right here. We also learned that inside of states there are towns. And there are towns all over. There are many, many, many towns in our, in our whole country and in our state. And each one of us live in a town. Now, inside our town there are streets and roads and on those streets we live in a house or an apartment. That is where we live. Today we are going to talk about where is my home. I live in a house. This house is my home. My home is where I live with my family. My home is on a street with other homes. My street is in a neighborhood. My neighborhood is in a town. Some families live in homes in a city. You can see these are very close together. Some families live in homes in the country. There's their home, <laughs> here's their barn, and they have lots of land and there's not very many neighbors close by. Families live all around the world. There are different kinds of homes all around the world. These homes are not made like our homes, are they? They're made from the supplies they have around them. There are big homes. There are small homes. There are old homes. There are new homes. Where is my home? My home is in my town where I live with my family. What do you see in this neighborhood? I see a school. I see a hospital. A grocery store where we can buy our food. Oh, nice. There's a playground over here. And, oh, here is a toy store. That would be fun to go to. So there are many things in a town and a neighborhood where you live. So today, we are going to make a home to show where you live. This is what it's going to look like when we are done. These are the pieces that you need to have for your project. Um, you are also going to need a pencil for the end to write sentences. We'll, you will need a black crayon at the end. Once again, if you're using white glue, you need your lid with your glue and a glue tip. And you should have a bag with all your pieces in it. You have a large yellow rectangle, two red rectangles, one very small, and one um, a little larger. You have two blue rectangles and one dark blue rectangle. So, oh yes, and you have your lined paper 
and your green paper. So the first thing we're going to do is take just one of the long sides of the rectangle. You are going to fringe cut. Now we have fringe cut many other times in our class and you're going to fringe cut all the way the whole length of the one long side. Now I am not going to fringe cut the whole thing because you don't need to watch me. Um, as you can tell this is going to be our grass. Something I like to do is kind of hold it and kind of bend the grass so it looks kind of a little bit more like grass. Okay, you're going to make sure that your white paper is in a vertical position and this is going to get glued to the bottom of your paper and don't put glue on the fringe and I am going to put eight glue dots on my glue on my green paper and I'm going to match the corners at the bottom of my paper and press that on. Okay, the next piece I'm going to use is my lined paper and I am going to glue that, six glue dots, and I'm going to glue that at the bottom on top of the green and I'm going to move it down pretty close to the bottom, rub that just a little bit. The yellow rectangle, I do not need to do any cutting, it's ready to go. So I am going to put glue dots and maybe one in the middle just for good luck. Then I'm going to glue this on top of my grass just above the lined paper. Rub that so it will stay. Okay, the next piece we're going to use is our blue rectangle. This is going to be the house. Okay, I am going to hold it in a horizontal position and I am going to start cutting at the bottom right corner or left, but I'm going to cut and I'm going to cut a large triangle off of it like that. And I don't need that anymore, that's trash. I'm going to flip my paper over and I'm going to start right here at the bottom corner again and I'm going to cut another large triangle all the way up and then I'm going to glue that to the top of my house. So I'm going to put glue dots back on there on my house and glue that at, to the top of my house and I overlapped it a little bit on top of the yellow rectangle. Okay, the next two pieces we're going to use are our red pieces. Okay, the small red piece is your house, is the chimney. We do not need to do any cutting and I am going to slide this underneath. I'm going to slide it so it is under the blue roof. This is the door and I am going to glue the door to one side of the house, not in the middle. I want it on the side over here. I'm matching it so it matches the bottom of the um, yellow rectangle. Okay, then the next two pieces we're going to use are the two blue rectangles. I'm going to save this one for a moment and I'm going to glue this one on. This is a window and I do not need to cut it. I'm going to put glue dots on my window. I'm going to turn my window over and glue it next to my door. This is going to become two windows. So I am going to fold it in half and then open it up and cut it on the fold. So now I have two windows and I'm going to glue my two windows in the second story of the house. So I'm going to glue one window there and the next window here. There we go. Our house is complete. 
but we are not done. Now we need the black crayon. So I'm going to start with my chimney. I want to have some smoke coming out. So I'm going to make curvy line to show that there's some smoke coming out of my chimney. Now I am going to trace black crayon around my blue windows. All four blue windows are going to get traced around with black crayon. I'm actually drawing the crayon on the yellow and I'm using the blue to help me make very nice straight lines. Now I also want these to look like windows so I'm going to draw a vertical line on each of the windows and I'm going to put a horizontal line. I try to put each of these right in the middle. Okay, last we're going to use the black crayon for the door and I'm tracing around the door just like I did the windows and I am going to add a doorknob to the door which is just a nice circle colored in. Now if you would like to add maybe some flowers over here you may I am not going to do that. Now is when you need your pencil and you need your address paper that I hope you're memorizing your address so you're going to write your address and I will write down what you're supposed to put on grade link but it should say actually I have one right here my my address is and you're going to use the two dots and then you're going to write your address whatever your address is I made this address up <laughs> um, Okay, so that is the last thing you're going to do for this project. Oh, yes, and write your name on the back. Okay, have fun doing your house project.